Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and as you've probably heard by now, this thing right here on the screen, Tiangong 1, is about to crash into planet Earth, and there's about 24 hours or so to go before it actually does re-enter atmosphere and most likely uh, makes a surprise re-entry somewhere on Earth, possibly crashing on someone's head. Well, the chance of that is actually very, very unlikely. In today's video, very very short video, I just wanted to kind of make this a competition. So try to guess in the comments below where you think it's going to end up. Uh, and specifically here where we're talking about in an area or a country or just a place on Earth. And the person with the most accurate prediction uh, is going to get a prize. And specifically here I think I have a few copies of Universe Sandbox Square lying around. So if you'd like a copy of the game or maybe other space game that I've tried on the channel before, uh, you will get it if you guess this correctly. This is just a friendly competition. Now, uh, if you do want to check out some of the tracking uh, mechanisms for Tiangon 1, uh, this site right here, aerospace.org, is actually keeping very, very, very specific, accurate um, track of Tiangon 1, and actually this is refreshed pretty much every minute or so and you get to basically see its current destination and current location but if you want this to look cooler and not as accurate go to stuff in space um stuff dot in space and you get to see tiangong orbiting with other objects around earth and so this is where it is right now its uh, altitude is about 174 kilometers in the air um it's already in the upper atmosphere velocity is 7.81 kilometers per second um and it's going to basically end up somewhere on the planet in the next, I would say, 20 to maybe 25 hours from now, from when I'm actually posting this video. Now, um, the actual estimates are basically completely all over the place, as in, like, we have no idea where it's going to land, we have no idea when it's going to land, and the actual uh, estimates, if you actually look at them right around here somewhere... Yeah, there you go. Tiangon re-entry prediction, April 1st, around midnight UTC, plus minus 7 hours. That That is a big plus minus. That basically means that uh, it's going to maybe have a few more orbits around Earth, because it takes about 90 minutes per orbit, or hour and a half per orbit. So it might be 3 orbits this way, or 3 orbits the other way, or even 4 orbits. Uh, so it's extremely, extremely unpredictable right now. So it could be anywhere. But the interesting thing about uh, all of this is that uh, this is obviously not the first time it happens. But uh, what will happen may end up being some sort of potentially political disaster, especially for China, because it might end up causing tremendous damage, not just from the crash itself, but from the fact that it still has quite a lot of hydrazine and a lot of other dangerous components, not components, but elements that are used for um, different rockets on still on board. And so as it crashes onto the planet, it will most likely disperse a lot of this really toxic stuff and hydrogen is not just corrosive, it's actually really toxic. And so it might end up creating some sort of a ecological disaster for a country somewhere out there. So China, let's see what you end up uh, doing as a result of this. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to do in this video. Uh, we might actually come back to this and just talk about where exactly it crashed afterwards. Um, and for now, go to stuff.inspace or aerospace.org and you can check out some of the tracking mechanisms they use there. So that's Tiangon 1. Let's see where it crashes and let's see if you're going to be the winner of the Universe Sandbox Square giveaway. And just to make this a little bit more fair, your guesses have to be like actual area. So don't just say Pacific Ocean. You have to be a little bit more specific, maybe within about 500 kilometers of where it actually crashes. So if you want to end up winning the Universe Sandbox or some other space game, try to make this a little bit more accurate. Just, you know, you could say um, Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. Or I guess in this case, Mexico. Uh, or you could say uh, Caribbean. Central Caribbean. Caribbean close to Cuba. So, let's see who gets it right, and let's actually see where it ends up crashing. I'm gonna say, my my, my bad, and if I win, I get the game, I'm gonna play myself. My guess, my guess is going to be uh, Northern Australia, or no, like, Northwest Australia. Don't know why, just something I heard someone talk about that maybe it's just going to end up there somewhere in the you can't really see australia right now because it's night there right now but northwest australia is somewhere like right here between darwin and this sort of northwestern coast here let's see if i'm right and if i'm not then well maybe you'll be right anyway thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you tomorrow space out and as always bye bye